After violent protests at the Hyderabad University yesterday, the gates of the university have been closed and JNUSU President Kanaiya Kumar, who was supposed to visit the university today, has been denied entry. Also on the topic of JNU, check out the Queen's exclusive interview with Umar and Anirvan. Belgian media has reported that a 25-year-old man detained for being the prime suspect in the Brussels terror attack has actually been misidentified. The police and the prosecutors have denied any comment. Log on to the Queen for continuous live updates of the Brussels terror attack. The latest from the World T20, the suspension on Taskeen Ahmed's bowling action has been upheld. However, he will not get to take the field against India in that vital Group 2 fixture later tonight. Planning to throw a wild bully party? Then try out our quick to make vodka and jello bichkaris and chocolate gujiyas and impress your friends. Oh, and happy holy. Guess what? The Quantico episode 14 is out. And it's much better than episode 13. Uh, lots of twists, lots of turns, spins. Yes. If you don't believe me, you have to go and watch the review first then. For that, you need to log on to the quint.com. Bhagat Singh along with Sukhdev and Rajguru was hanged to death on this day 85 years ago in 1931. It was just a week before the commencement of the now famous Karachi session of the Indian National Congress. Did you know that Mahatma Gandhi himself appealed to Lord Irwin to cancel the death sentences? As Kangana Ranaut was also turned into a controversy queen celebrates her birthday today, we've put together some of the boldest statements made by the actress in the recent past. You can read the article on thequeen.com or you could also download the app which is available both for iOS and Android.